Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode on Salesforce Bolt. So, guys, in today's episode, we'll be converting an image to a PDF. I mean, uh, if you are following the channel, so we did it earlier as well using the PDF JS library. But uh, this time, we'll be using a Visual Force page to convert our image in a PDF format. So, in Visual Force page, you must be aware like we are having render as PDF functionality. So, using that functionality, we will be converting an image which is in our lightning web component so basically we'll be converting a jpg or maybe a png file to a pdf file and after that guys we'll be saving that pdf file instead of our jpg or png file into a lightning web component so like this will be the new part i mean apart from the render as pdf functionality okay so let's start today's video uh, let me show you the demo of the functionality first so this is my org and I have added the component on the account page itself. So this is the account page. Okay, so I have added a custom tab here just to, you know, uh, for this demo purpose only. And this is just a file uploader. So guys, here I'm using one of my previous example, which was how you can display file thumbnails uh, here. Okay. So I will leave that example link also in the description below or I will try to, you know, include the same uh, functionality, the same code in this uh, in this example also. So here, first of all, we will upload the file. So let's say if I'm uploading these two files, okay. So here I have uploaded files and yep, here it is. Now, uh, on the top right corner, you may see a button here. So this is basically a menu button I have created on this uh, file thumbnail. Okay. And on the click of this menu button, I'm having a few options like preview the file, delete the file. Like on while you will click on preview, so there will be a preview of this, preview of the file, which is not working right now. I will check this out later. Okay, the click one is working. So like this way, you may have the preview of the file. Okay. And uh, apart from that, we are having this convert to PDF, delete, we are not having any functionality in delete because this was just an example for the demo purpose. So here in convert to PDF, we are having the main functionality. So guys, what is happening in this convert to PDF, basically we are getting this content version link. We are passing that content version link to a Visual Force page and on that Visual Force page, we are having an image. In the image SRC, we are having the content version download URL, okay. And in that download URL, there will be the link which will be passed from this lightning map component. And of course, the Visual Force page is having that render as PDF functionality. I mean, it it's, you know, sounds a little complicated, but uh, when you will see the functionality, so it is pretty easy. Okay, so let me just show you the demo. So let's click on this convert to PDF. And so there's a timer of five seconds because, you know, it's, I mean, this, it is a manual timer of five seconds because it was a, an asynchronous process so you know it runs in background and you know it won't take instant effect so you know that's why i put a timer of five seconds so as you may notice the file has been changed to the pdf the old file is gone from here and we are having a new file and you may see the preview okay it was downloaded and guys also like if you're having this issue like whenever you will click for preview the pdf files are getting downloaded directly so for that you have to just change the setting you can go to quick find and search for file okay then there, there's a setting for that yeah file upload and download security okay in this file upload and download security just hit add it and uh, let's see where speed here it is so instead of this hybrid, you just have to select execute in browser and save it. Now let's reload this page. Okay, and now let's try to click on that image. So this is our PDF file. Okay, so guys, I'm already having the code as you have seen, like it, if it is, I mean, in my org, then definitely I'm already having the code. So, I mean, uh, I will just explain the code in this video like what I did and you know what you can do to you know modify this functionality as per a requirement okay so let's open the VS code okay 
So guys, in my VS code, I have used these two old components. The first one was to, you know, display the list of files in a lightning web component. Okay. And the second one was to display a thumbnail of that file. So basically I have used this parent and child component here. Okay, so you can also utilize the same functionality. You can search for the code on the blog itself, which is salesforcebold.com. All right. Now, uh, in this thumbnail function, I did some changes. Okay. So, let me show you the changes. So, the first change is I have added the menu options here. Okay. So, we are having here menu option and I have added an option to convert to PDF. And if you will notice, so this option is having a, a template if true about that so that means like if a file is already converted to pdf then technically i mean this option should not be there so that's why we are having a template here and we are setting up the value from the of course from the back end now from the back end uh, i will just explain the change guys because you know this is same as the previous example just to just play the thumbnail so on the back end here uh, we are just checking the icon name based on the file extension so at the end, as we were checking the image type, so I have just made this uh, show convert button is equal to true. I mean, if the file type is image, it could be any image, PDF, JPG, SVG as well. Okay. And apart from that, what I changed in this code is this. I'm having a handle on select function for that menu button here. Okay. And here's the uh convert button functionality i mean if the menu label is convert or menu value is convert so in that case it will just you know throw inside in this else if block so here what are we doing guys so for dummy uh, testing purpose i am just you know having a console here if you are following my code then definitely i think you're aware about it like i i'm habitual to use as much as possible console in my code you know just to justify just to justify the position like till till which position the code is working as expected so that's why you know i'm used to have multiple console in my code but yeah make sure like before putting it to a branch or before uploading it you remove all the consoles from your code because you know that that is not a good practice to have console or debugs in your code so this is just a file and from that file i'm creating a content version record and i'm specifying the data which needs to be passed in the content version so basically i'm having file id here title content document id which is yes very very important because we'll be creating a new content version in the existing content document okay and we'll be displaying the latest content version from that document okay so this is very very important the content location is inside the salesforce so that's why i have used s here and the first publication record id i don't know why i'm having here but i think this is not required so let's remove it okay after that i'm calling my convert to pdf function which is a function in my apex controller to convert the file okay we will get to that apex controller later first let me just finish the javascript part and if it is success then we are you know just refreshing the list with the five seconds of timeout okay and for the refresh i mean to refresh the list we are using the refresh apex and on my blog also i'm having a separate article for refresh apex also so if you'd like to learn more about it the link is in the description below okay so this is just to refresh the apex and the catch we are just catching the error now this is my convert to pdf functionality and uh, please excuse me for the controller name because you know i didn't get much time to create separate separate controller methods to do the functionality so that's why you know i'm having everything in the single one okay so this is convert to pdf uh, here it is okay so here it is in convert to pdf guys so i'm having a queable class in my org so i'm just you know uh, calling that convert to pdf function and i'm passing the content version id here okay now i will move to the queable class but let me just show you like how i'm getting the file because this is also a very important part of this example so guys to get the files so what we are doing basically we are just having content document ids based on the entity based on the linked entity id basically 
So that's why first of all, we are just doing a query on the content document links to get the content document ID. And then based on that content document ID, we are retrieving this content version. Now a follow up question here from you guys could be like why we are not querying directly on the content version based on the first publication ID. So guys, using the content version, I mean, we cannot do DML on content version using APIs. So basically like in our example, as we are creating a new file, so we don't need the old file to get displayed on the screen. Okay. So that's why we are uh, using the content document first. Okay. And based on the document ID, we are getting the latest version of that content. Okay. So that's why, you know, we have used this content document functionality and also like you cannot do DML as I said earlier. So like if you would like to delete the old file from the content version directly, you won't be able to do it using API. Okay. Now let's get back to the convert to PDF functionality. Okay. So here in convert to PDF, I'm calling this class. All right. So this is a queueable class and here I'm having a constructor which is accepting the content version. Okay. This is my execute method and here I'm just checking if the content version is not there. I mean the size is zero then it should return. And I mean if we are having the content version then it should send the content version ID to this page which is PDF converter. So I'm having a visual force page which is PDF converter and on that visual force page I'm just passing my content version ID. Okay. Because of course, you know, based on that content version ID, we will be getting the download URL in the image SRC. All right. Now here I'm just checking if it is null. And uh, after that, we are just having the content as PDF in body because in content version, we will be definitely having the body of the PDF file, which will be containing the PDF itself. Okay. And after that, guys, I'm creating a new content version here. So this is just a basic functionality like where I'm passing the version data, title, path, content document ID, which is very important because we need to pass the same content document ID here. Content location should also be same. Okay. And here I'm inserting the content uh, version to insert. I mean, if the size is greater than zero, if we are having no values here, then we won't be inserting it. Okay. Now guys, the final part of this functionality and which is very, very important for the functionality is the visual force page. But I mean, the functionality, you know, sounds pretty complicated, but you know, when, when you get a chance to work on it, it is pretty much easier. And I think this is the best possible way to convert an image. And this is very, very quick guys. I mean, if you're, if you don't want to use any third party library here, then definitely you can use this internal thing. So here on this visual force page, guys, I'm having basic functionality here as well. Like I'm, I have connected my controller here. A standard style sheet is false. Apply HTML tag is also false. I don't want to show the header. Header is also false. And I'm having action which is in it in the controller. So basically what I'm doing in the init section. Here is my init section. So I'm just passing the content version ID in this parameter. I'm having a parameter here. A string content version ID. So basically I'm just assigning the content version ID here. Okay. Now on the page itself. If you will notice I'm having a contain a div here with 100% of it and underneath that I'm having an image tag here and guys in that image tag in the SRC version you will notice like there's a download URL available for that specific image and to download the URL we have to pass the content version ID which we will be getting from the lightning web component which I have shown you earlier okay and using that content version ID basically we are just converting uh, the page so basically we are displaying an image on the visual force page and then we are converting that visual force page to pdf and then we are storing that pdf data basically in storing the pdf body uh, in content version to you know display it again on the file itself okay so here i'm just passing the url and yep that's it and make sure like your pdf uh, sorry your visual force page is rendered as apex Okay, so this was the complete functionality guys. So using the same way you may have the same functionality in your org as well. Just to you know convert to PDF and convert your old images to a PDF. But yeah, this is for the I mean, this is for single image, you may customize functionality to make it you know, more dynamic to use a list in it to just pass a list of image and get list of PDF files. I mean, it's up to you guys. 
and guys also if you need the complete code so that will be on my blog itself which is salesforcebold.com so if you need the complete code you can directly go to my blog and check the complete code there okay so that's it for today guys and if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching